That's, I know nothing. That's you too. I know nothing about hockey. Not a single thing about hockey. Who cares well, about hockey, honestly? Well, Me would, and John, hockey. I would love to hear two, more. NBA. These two are hockey guys. We're NBA guys, so I would love to hear what's going on in the NHL world because after the Penguins got eliminated, well, we might not want to pick that because I could get sued for that. But, yeah, yeah. But. <laughs> <laughs> but <laughs> Towers music, that, that is copyright me. strike. <laughs> That is on me. Yeah, but uh, we get the right to the NHL and NBC uh, that video that we just played. But yeah, so what's going on in hockey? Because after the Penguins got eliminated, I uh, I didn't I haven't watched or checked out any of it since. I really, as a Penguins fan, and as much as I hated seeing them go, I really love the underdog story of the Canadians coming in. It's the last possible season in the Price. NHL playoffs, and Carey Price playing the way that he's playing right now. He has played. He is probably a few years past his prime, but he has played the best hockey I have ever seen him play to date in these like playoffs a little bit. He's he looks like out of his mind. And today against the Flyers, a five nothing shutout with thirty saves for Carey Price today. He played a great game, and yeah, the Canadi- I mean, Canadian Canadian team it. just keeps going against. I uh, st- the stack Penguins team. They beat a stack Penguins team. I mean, they got Penguins are always Flyers. contender, and now the Flyers, yeah. the first seed in the Eastern Conference, get shut out five nothing by the Canadians today, and it's all tied. And I thought the Penguins were going to make a run. To be honest with you, this year. I, I thought they I were was too. hoping so, but it just it didn't happen. Just, I, I thought for sure they like, I was like off. this Penguin had this Penguins team had talent. I don't follow hockey that much, but I was like, oh, and this Penguins team is talented. And they, they were eliminated very early. Another another thing I like about. NHL this year with the bubble and everything, a lot of these lower seeded teams that wouldn't have made the playoffs beforehand won in the first round. Like Arizona beat Nashville yeah, in the yeah. first round, and that now was, they're and down two zero in the series against the Avalanche. But I mean, yeah. right now they're playing pretty well. Listen, I something, think they're playing very well. Something that I this is like the only thing I heard about. I don't know if any of it's true, but I heard the Penguins could possibly get a really, really nice draft pick in the upcoming draft. They yeah. did. Uh, they they had a overall. chance at the number they, one overall they pick, had a but it got picked to the Rangers. I believe it and was a big thing that everybody is saying that it could have been rigged for the Rangers because the guy uh, dropped the ball on national TV. He dropped the Rangers ball and everybody's saying it was weighted for it to come up. Because the uh, Rangers are well, so... That's, that's a stretch. But the, the, ra- the Rangers are the most... Uh, Rich team, they they have the most profit coming in for the NHL. They're, yeah. they're the most yeah. known team. Yeah, and they are from New York. Yes, but that's a big mark. Back so. to it, I really like seeing the upset stories, and, uh, along with the Chicago Blackhawks. They died beating. Yeah, they were. Um, that was they like, awesome. Weren't yeah. they like the worst team in hockey before that this whole the, thing started? That was the Cana- uh, That was the Canadians. They came in as the last okay. seed. Okay, they, that was yeah. And, well, there was twenty four teams that made it out of thirty. Yeah. So I mean, the and worst the team in the NHL was the Detroit Red Wings. Yeah. Okay, that's what I was thinking of. But, yeah, it's very nice to see all these upsets, and that's why I kind of <laughs> like to watch hockey again. Like, before this year, I never really watched hockey if it wasn't the Penguins, but I like watching it more now. I like getting into it. and I like, I like watching a lot of the former Penguins players. Like, Flurry. yeah, like, I love Phil watching Castle. Flurry. Like, Phil that, Castle. Phil, Phil Castle. Castle. I love that, watching I'm Phil really, Castle. I'm yeah, rooting I'm for, for Phil Castle. I like the Arizona Coyotes it's, right now, but I also like the Avalanche and McKinnon. McKinnon is a great. Biggest thing is on watching on watching like hockey or basketball right now. It's so nice because we haven't had it. Yeah, it oh, is yeah. so sports easy to sports, get into. So. It. Yeah, I'll take it. Uh, I'd watch sports, midget sports, wrestling if I needed to to get sports. Sports is sports except baseball because that's pretty tough to watch right now. But well, baseball is boring. Yeah, yeah. yeah. After watching boring playoff before. hockey, it's hard to watch. Yeah. Well, I mean, as a team, as a home team in the Pittsburgh Pirates. <laughs> yeah, that is a <laughs> that is that is very that is a yeah. Yeah. Well, bad for you, Derek Shelton. Hopefully, in the coming years, you'll get a little bit better. But your managing so far has been completely awful. I would have completely <laughs> like, awful. Who, who starts Cole Tucker? But anyway, yeah, Cole, <laughs> Cole Tucker is a triple A player. Oh. I mean, he should not be at the pro level at all. He's terrible. And yet, you guys, guys a lot of teams should not be at the pro. But level. then, no, you got a point there. My team, like I said, I've adopted the Canadians after they beat the Penguins. I really want to see him knock off the Flyers. I don't like any other. One team that I do like in the Eastern Conference week, besides the Canadians, would be the Hurricanes. I really like the Hurricanes, the Carolina Hurricanes. Oh, yeah. They're mm-hmm. always a fun team. They always have good celebrations, and 
I mean, they're pl- who are they playing right now? They're playing the Boston Bruins, and nobody likes Boston. No, I mean, hate Boston. I mean, hate Boston. If, if you watch yeah. that, if you watch that series, both games so far, it's a one-one series tie. But the refs have been so biased going Boston's way. The well, calls, the calls in the series yeah. so far have been completely <laughs> awful toward towards uh, Carolina. So many non-calls and everything, but. If it would be me, I would like to see Montreal and Carolina in the Eastern Conference Finals, and that's, then, and that's then Ve- very Vegas. I, I would like to see Vegas and oh, yeah. like Ari- nice. Arizona or uh, Colorado in the Western Conference. Now that I, I would like to see one of those. Hey, what do you know. guys think about the Seattle Kraken? Oh, What's crack? the Kraken. What's crack? Well, oh, you, obviously Matt Murray's going. I, I think. I don't know. I mean, you we got Sullivan in Pittsburgh. <laughs> Probably. You got Sullivan in Pittsburgh who loves Murray, but I mean, in fact, but a lot, I think you, a lot you of think of the crack and Boy, and you George. go back to a few years ago with the expansion draft for the Knights. They made the San Diego final that year. Yeah. Well, that's the cra- when the Kraken are going to be have. good because I mean, the the way that they set up the expansion draft, they're always like they stacked. didn't have like up, so many. Up. They didn't have like crazy good players, but they just had all these players that were they just had a bunch decent. of vets. They had a bunch of they, decent vets. Yeah, yeah and and just, just a bunch them. of decent veterans, and that's why they just... And now Fl- Flurry isn't even starting for the Knights right now. It's Robin Leonard. Yeah. So Fl- Flurry got... He, he's a bench player now. He's backup. That reminds me of... Uh, well, uh, that was Hockey Talk with John, so yeah.